Costco. It's like we have the place to ourselves for some reason. I don't know why. And what people are here, they seem to be rushing like they're going somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's nice. It's like a ghost town. I mean, look at where I'm parked. I am like rock star parking, like right on the front row. There must be something going on. I know what's going on. Everybody knows what's going on. It's uh, uh well, just 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 to say that I'm I and my family are not much of uh, fans of any sports, yay sports team, but. Our football team is in the playoffs and on the running to go all the way and everybody's excited and the game's going on and so everything's empty and why aren't I showing my team spirit? Well, a couple of years ago we were in, we were on vacation and we were in Savannah, Georgia and we were in our camper van. And the missus got excited about one of our sports teams was, what were they in? I think they were actually in the World Series. Were they? I can't remember. I don't know. Faulty memory. Anyway, we never watched any of it. Didn't have anything to do with it. So, she turns on the TV just as she did. They were winning. And then she turned on the TV, and as soon as we started watching, they lost. So, thank us for not watching, because you can't blame us if they lose. Because we're not watching, you know, we're bad luck. If we watch, they'll lose. So, that's our superstition. I'm going to go get something in the store before the game lets out, and either a bunch of crying people show up, or a bunch of happy people show up. Either way, I want to out of the way when they all get here so e. well when I last left off everything was quiet because the local football team was in the playoffs and right after I did that video the local football team won the playoffs so they're in the Super Bowl and as I've said before, I don't do much of sports or know that much about it. So, yay, sports team. And uh, although I will say that today was a mess, but it, it was expected to be kind of a mess. But what made it even messier for everyone in this city is at a celebration of the playoffs victory, Somebody decided to shoot up <clears throat> a bunch of people standing in line and um, killed one person and so far that we know and and was himself uh, shot by security at the place and um, you know what will come is why and you know how it happened and stuff like that but uh I made a prediction that I haven't really shared with anyone. It's sort of like something I've said to myself many years ago. And I've said that <clears throat> eventually it will be hard to go out in public in this country because the violence level will be such that every time there'll be a bunch of people gathering together, there'll be an incident. No matter how much security, it'll just overwhelm the security. There's too many people with mental health and anger issues who have good access to guns because some people, I think, are misinterpreting the idea of the Second Amendment. I don't think it was ever intended to give unfettered access to people who have problems, violent issues to guns. And some people say, well, you know, the answer is that, like the security guard, we can defend ourselves with the guns. And I'm like, by the time we can defend ourselves, we may have lost our wives, our children, our fathers, our sons. Before we can even get the, the weapon out to defend ourselves with, how about we be pre proactive and just realize that 
Crazy people should not have guns. Criminals should not have guns. People with drug issues, people with alcohol problems should not have guns. And then I think, you know, maybe after that, the Second Amendment will work. But as it sits right now, it's becoming a dysfunction in our society. And American society is becoming known for it. You can tell it's really cold. It's like 19 degrees. I'm shivering. The car heater hasn't kicked on yet. But anyway, that's my nag for the day. Agree or disagree, I'm going to go have some coffee.